If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your FIFA Ultimate Team coins, check the link in the description and use the code ETANI to get 5% off. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have End of an Era, Fernando Torres. I feel sorry for the people that did the flashback, but at the same time, this one is so cheap. So, I don't know what is with EA doing um, flashbacks of players like the exact same players every year. So, Fernando Torres has been getting a flashback card every single year, right? Um, I don't know. I would I would prefer if EA do different, like, select different players. Because David Villa, Fernando Torres, we always get them every single year. In FIFA 20, you're probably going to get an end. No, I don't think they'll be in the game, right? Anyway, let us get into the video. So this one it doesn't have that much of an upgrade compared to... Well, it does in certain areas when I look at the face card stats. I haven't looked at the in-game stats, but... If we go ahead and compare both of these, so if we compare both of these Fernando Torres's, Torres's, <laughs> 94 pace, so only three, uh, plus three pace, which is quite a big upgrade usually uh, when it comes down to these cards. It depends on how much acceleration this guy got. Formal shooting is pretty good. Passing's got plus five, which is okay it's for a strike, it's not a big deal. But the dribbling got plus six, which is a huge upgrade because the other Fernando Torres wasn't that great when it came to dribbling. And his physical got upgraded by five as well. So a big upgrade. And I remember the flashback Torres, the stamina wasn't the best. I'm not sure about this one. Let us check, guys. So we look at his um, stats. He's got a four star weak foot, three star skill, move, skill moves is bits. I don't know. With... The effective skill moves in this game, a lot of people will be put off by that. Um, six foot one, so definitely going to be an aerial threat. Let us see. 80 acceleration right off the bat is quite low at this stage of FIFA, guys. You need someone with a lot more acceleration, especially at six foot one. Now, you have someone with 98 positioning, 93 finishing, 99 shot power, 90 long shots, 99 volleys, 91 penalties. Again, this guy is very cheap, so you can't be too, you know strict on him when it comes to his requirements at this stage of FIFA. You have to remember, value-wise, he's you're not going to get better than this 95 rate card and you're only putting in 84 rate squad. You're not going to get a better deal than that at this stage of FIFA because EA is quite greedy. Anyway, passing stats are actually decent for a strike. You have 88 vision, 79 crossing. Free kick accuracy is terrible. Definitely wouldn't take free kicks with him. Short passing is amazing. And then long passing is absolute trash. But curve is amazing. So if he's on the edge of the area and he wants to do a curved pass to the other striker, this guy could definitely do that. 93 curve is amazing. Now, this is where it gets really bad. So 62 balance, 6 foot 1, with not the best of accelerations, I feel like he's going to still be stiff. Even though his ball control and dribbling are nearly maxed out. Now, Composure's 86, again, at this stage of FIFA is quite low, but it, you're not really going to need more than that. But then again, you're getting all these Team of Season defenders. I haven't really tried a player like this against Team of Season defenders. But Agility isn't the best. It's 87. You would think it's quite high, but 6'1", 62 balance. You would really need the agility, the agility to make up for it. It doesn't in this situation. But one of the best things about this tour is 99 jumping, 96 Heading accuracy, and you know how to play this game, is basically crossing it a lot. 79 stamina should be good enough. I don't think it's going to be, you know, a negative too much. 79 stamina is decent. Unless you go through extra time, you might need to sub him off, but 79 is okay. 95 strength and 82 aggression. So that could make up for how slow he's going to be because, again, 97 sprint speed doesn't, mean, doesn't really mean anything in this game. Everyone just catches up. You need more acceleration. So I'm very interested because... There is a lot of stats that are here missed, but like I said, you can't be too, you know, strict on these players if they're so cheap. So let us go let, let us get into this match because I have an interesting team made around him. Haven't tried David Villa um, for a while. Fabian never tried him. So I'm gonna try him out as a center attacker mid. Let us see what we could do. Alright, dudes, here we go. The first team we face. This guy's got Mbappe, okay. A red Mbappe, very, very lucky to get that. Nothing too crazy about this squad, actually. I haven't checked the objectives. Maybe people are trying to make different teams for the objective. I haven't tried to see um, what kind of objectives uh, we have this week. Other than the goalkeeper one. Make a full goalkeeper team and you have to win with it. It's insane what EA is coming up with, so... 
Well, thank God we were able to stop that kickoff happening. So he did make subs. I wonder who he took off. Oh, he brought down Fernando. I'm guessing he got the uh, the end of an era one as well then. Oh, come on, game. Isn't he offside? That's why he's offside. How is he not offside? That was so weird. The way the ball just bounces back to him. So there you go. We're making uh, a video on Fernando Torres. There you go. He scores a goal. Really nice shot from Fernando Torres. I guess he has good chewing. I don't know what Bender Saw's doing, but... Torres should have the pace, but then again, he doesn't have the best of accelerations. And that is why they were able to just catch up to him. Oh, David Villa, come on. How is that not a pen? I guess uh, that was a very, very lucky goal, but the first touches on some of these uh, players, especially Torres and Villa, I, I have to admit, the first touches aren't the greatest, so... We are catching up, but it's not Torres that scored for me, so... But this guy, two goals for Torres for him, so... I guess he is getting the job done for him, but not for me right now. Who did I even have on him? Wow, two very lucky rebounds, I think. One was to Fabian, one was uh, to David Villa, but it's 3-2. Very jammy goals, guys. Oh my god. What a pass. Is he offside or is he on? Torres, come on! No! Off the post! Torres! There we- oh, it's Fabian! <laughs> oh man, you know what? This Fabian's been pretty damn good for, what? 160k at center attack in mid, getting the job done for us. Very underrated, it seems like, but um, Torres still yet to do anything. David V has been doing some work assisting as well, but I don't know. Well, maybe we could get one final attack here. Torres, bully him off, bully him off. Ah, oh, just not. He has 99 strength, guys, but he just couldn't push off whoever that was. Torres, no, that could have been it. Wait, is it a corner? It's a corner. It's a corner. Can this be it? Can this be it? Oh, no, it's over, isn't it? It's over. It has to be. Oh, it's not. Cross it in again, and it's over as we cross it. So, a weird way to end the match. Torres didn't really do anything in this match, I have to be honest. Uh, he did do stuff for my opponent, who, ha who had the same Torres. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I feel like our center attack in mid did the most work out of all of them. That was such a jammy goal, but what can you do? And Van der Sar should have done better there. Look at this. What is my Van der Sar doing in that position, you know? Um, I don't know what to say, to be honest. Look, David Villa uh, scored more than Torres. Uh, scored higher than Torres, sorry. Uh, Fabian, man of the match, and he deserves it. Assist-wise, David Villa, and who else? That's it. Goals, none for Torres. One for David Villa, and two for Fabian. So, it's a decent match for all the other players. Torres, I didn't. I felt like he's his first touch was so bad. I don't know how when his ball control is so high, his first touch wasn't the greatest. Also, acceleration, I definitely felt it as a problem. Uh, lots of players catching up now, and as you guys remember, there's so many defenders now with insane pace, insane acceleration, and at the beginning of the year, strikers that were fast, slow uh, center backs were catching up to them. So imagine very fast ones with only a player with 88 acceleration and six foot one and the balance is in the grade. So I don't know. 
Let us get into the second match and hopefully he performs better for us. But for now, he's an he's an average player. All right, so the next match is Simple Man FC. He does have a lot of icons. He has the Quag, the Torres as well. I feel like there's no point of me even making the video. Everyone else has a has a Torres in their team. See, that's what I mean. Like we were able to dispossess Torres there so easily. His his first touch isn't the greatest, so like I'm. There we go. Finally, we get on the scoreboard with Fernando Torres. I feel like fake shots are the way to go with him just because he's quite fast once he reaches his full sprint speed. That was a really nice finish. But other than that, his first touch is really the biggest negative for me when it comes to this Torres. That has to be offside, right? That's not offside? Wow. So we actually managed to foul the guy, he still manages to find the pass to Torres. Man, Fabian is so underrated, I don't care what you say. What a team of the season. He's one of the best players I have. Um, honestly, like I have I have tried Nine Golden, I've tried a lot of these Serie A players. Never tried Fabian just because of how cheap and how his stats look, but Damn, man, he seems insane. Like, this video should be on Fabian, not Fernando Torres. <laughs> man. Headers in this game I hate so much. That was a nice goal. I don't know how he went through my plays, though, but I have to admit, that was a good goal, so... Can't really um, complain on that. What is up with our really lucky deflections? <clears throat> In this video, I can't complain about luck because a lot of our goals have been very, very jammy. So this guy tackles us and deflects right to David Villa, who has basically an open goal. That penalty? What is that? It's a yellow card. I don't know if that's a penalty though. It is a penalty. <laughs> Alright. He's gonna hit down the middle. There we go. That was a nice self with Torres up front. Um, the only good thing I would have to say about him is he's quite strong, so he can hold up the play. And that was a really nice finish for David Villa as well. Dumfries. I mean, Dumfries is strong, but... Oh my god. This guy is actually good, I have to admit. Oh, what a save! Nice goal from the Paul, and again another cheap team of the season player that is definitely worth it. If you haven't tried the Paul, he's one of the better midfielders to try out. I felt like the cheap midfielders from the Serie A team of the season are the better ones. It's weird. He's gonna score this. Yeah, this guy finishes everything. So I have to admit, this guy deserved the win. Can't take anything away from him. He, I felt like he was always the better player, right? And he did really well with his Fernando Torres. Or was it his Fernando? I can't remember if it was the first match where he scored so many goals with his Fernando. Let me see, how many goals? Two for his Fernando Torres. I think only one for us, so it was okay. It was like, I don't know, look look how many goals he scored with his uh, Quag. And we scored one of our center attacking mid as well. So a hat trick for Quagliarella. Would I use Quag up top instead of Fernando Torres? Yeah, I would, honestly. I feel like... Torres is a good striker, only to cross it to him and try and score with his head. Other than that, he's not the best to control the ball with and pass it around and stuff like that. He just he, he just takes too long to turn. His, his balance really lets him down and his first touch, somehow he has such a bad first touch and his acceleration isn't the greatest. So other than that, that's all I have to say. I, we played against two squads with Fernando Torres, end of an era. 
I don't know how I feel like they felt about this end of an era Fernando Torres. They both scored with him, but is he that good? Like I said, you can't be too, you know, strict on these players just because uh, strict with the requirements or you can't expect too much just because they are so damn cheap. 84 rate squad for this Fernando Torres. Again, very cheap. I feel like he can be a better super sub, but definitely do not start him in the starting 11. He just isn't that great. Super sub, he can probably do some work, honestly. Like if you have a corner in the 90th minute, bring down someone that with 99 jumping, 99 um, heading accuracy, you never know. But other than that, I really wouldn't use him. So at this stage of FIFA, there's too many team of the season center backs, too many team of the season's um, full backs are so fast now. So that's all I have to say about this Fernando Torres. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Torres, three star skill moves, not the best of acceleration. The first touch isn't that great. The balance. Um, I will rate this Fernando Torres a seven just because he is cheap as well. So you can't, I, I, like if he was expensive, I'll probably rate him five or something. But just because he's so cheap, I'll give him a seven. He could be a good super sub. Other than that, I would never use him. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hit like one if you did and hopefully you have a very nice day.